All right, uh, in this problem, we're going to determine the elastic potential energy, the EPE stored in a spring whose spring constant is 500 newtons per meter and which is compressed by 24 centimeters. So again, compressed is the key word. So when you compress a spring, you do work on it and it stows energy. So in order to solve this, we can recall that the equation for EPE is one half times K, the spring constant times the square of x or x squared. So EPE is one half kx squared, where elastic potential energy is EPE. The spring constant, let's just change colors, is k and the compression is x. One minor thing, we need to express the compression in meters and that value for x will not be 24 centimeters, it's 0.24 meters. So substituting the numbers in, EPE will be equal to one half times what K is, 500 newtons per meter times the square of the compression, 0.24 meters quantity squared. Uh, when, we, when we look at this from a unit standpoint, we'll end up with newtons per meter, that's the spring constant, times the square of the compression, meters squared, and we'll end up with meters canceling one of the meters, end up with newton meters, which are joules. So this is dimensionally correct. correct. And if we bring the answer out, save the computation, we end up with EPE is 1 half times 500 times 0.24 squared, 14.4 joules. So you do 14.4 joules of work on the spring, and it's stowed there just waiting to do something.